Lastly, we want the player to die if they are hit by the start. So, in our constantly block, we can check if we're overlapping the player. So we'll go to control flow, grab if. Then from sensing down the bottom, we want uh, myself overlaps instance toucher. Uh, myself overlaps toucher. Now there is no toucher, so we'll get rid of toucher. Uh, we want to be able to target the player. And we will need a new variable for the player. So we'll go to variables, grab true false eye, change that to instance, and then this uh, a new variable called the player. There we go. Uh, and if we do overlap the player, then we want to broadcast player die. So that's from events down the bottom, broadcast a message player die. And we'll make sure that the player can actually receive that message. Let's double check that. Make sure the player has a message receiver block for that. There we go. When it receives player die, it does the die function, which does this. So that's good. Back in our dart that shoots randomly script, uh, there's one last thing we need to do. We need to make sure instance player actually has a value. At this point it does not have a value. So we will go to variables and grab set instance player. We'll give it a value. And we'll do this when the level starts. So we need a new block. We can't do it when created. I mean we can, but the tricky thing with that is the player is adding a tag to itself when it's created. So it'll be, it'll be a bit of a toss up whether or not we will actually be able to target the player. So we'll do it when the level starts because we know that happens just after when created. So when the level starts, set instance player 2 and then from sensing we want first instance by tag player. Then we can definitely save the player and check if it's overlapping. Let's test it now. So now we should see the dart randomly positioning and going a bit faster each time and then if it hits us boom very nice